Greetings and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm gonna continue a tutorial I created, the tutorial I created last time, which was this one. Use keycard to unlock door. Yesterday I got a question from Adam Place. And he asks, what do you do if you are wanting the player to pick up several items before an action happens? Toggle visibility, for example. And yesterday I didn't really know how to do it because I hadn't even thought about doing it. So I sat down right now and just uh, tried, tried it out and it worked. So I'm going to show you what I did. Well. I'm gonna revert back to the first tutorial we did, which was this one. And so if you haven't already done the other one, or you want to do it, then you can click right here, I guess, yes and um, then come back to this one because this one is set up exactly like that one because this is the file I created back then and as we can see here's this cube is the pickup and this light is the door so when you walk to the light it says access denied need key card and so you go here and you pick up you picked up key card <laughs> and then bloop, access granted yeah and I can toggle it because I'm toggling the visibility so what we're gonna do now is create it so that you can only toggle the visibility after having picked up two cubes instead of one so the first thing I'm gonna do is simply duplicate this pickup box which is a blueprint and you know both both the pickup box the inventory interface and the lights are exactly the same as the first uh, as in the first tutorial so look at that one if you want to know exactly how they, they are set up so I mark the pickup box and I take duplicate and it automatically is renamed to pickup box 2 which is good enough for me. I'm gonna save. Now I will open all of the necessary blueprints. So pick up box two, inventory interface, light, and my character. So first go to the inventory interface. Here we have add inventory and check inventory. Of course, it would probably be better if we called it add item, but just think of it as add to inventory. Add this item to inventory. So, and you can see in inputs that it's called item, so that's cool. So, I'm going to create a new function called add inventory to. And then under inputs, create a new one, make it a string, and I'm going to call this item2. Then we can go up to check inventory. This is the function that checks if the player has picked up the given uh, items. So with check inventory selected, I'm going to create a new. Yes a new parameter and it's going to be called item2 and for outputs this first one is uh, checking if the player has picked up the first item so I'm going to create another boolean and make it just simply picked up 2 rename as you wish <laughs> then compile and save so 
next thing now will be to go into the pickup box two, number two and you can see here in this we have the add inventory one which is connected to the first item but this is not the first item so we've got to delete this drag this out and take add inventory two that's the new one and here you can see item two so we connect <coughs> connect target to other actor and connect this to the print string that I created but I'm not gonna have it say picked up key card but rather picked up key card 2 because you will need two key cards so called to get this light to be toggled then compile and save and when we go to the light we can now see that in the check inventory we have both item 1 and item 2 plus picked up and picked up 2 and until I create changed the inventory interface they did not exist so uh, now we will have the picked up 2 as a new branch so we will create a new branch branch we gotta branch that tree out and the condition for this branch is gonna be picked up too and if you don't if you have not picked it up then you will get an error message print string is beautiful for those so I'm gonna write access denied need key card 2 exclamation point change the text to red or as close as possible so so you have to it's you know what will happen now is that when you enter the light <laughs> then since this one is first in the blueprint tree or whatever it's called then you will see the access denied need keycard 2 message first so if you would like that the other way around then just simply take uh, this first one and connect it and then connect this number 2 to this one Yeah, but it doesn't matter in this tutorial you only need to understand how you, how you do it okay now let's go to my character <laughs> and as you can see here we have inventory which is kind of representative of the first item so we're gonna create a new variable which is gonna be a string and it's gonna be an array as the first one so click that and call this inventory2 this is an inventory2 <laughs> then double click check inventory and here you can see item2 is now existent in this as well as the picked up two so I will drag this inventory two in here to get it by holding control button in or you can just simply right click and nope not right click just drag out there's no big deal. so drag this out and find contains connect this to item two and then connect the boolean to picked up two and here we have it now go back to the event graph and create this all over again for the second, in second inventory drag this in and drag that out and write add and we add it we drag that out and we're gonna take event add inventory 2 like that and connect item 2 to this spot and compile save and I'm gonna go and compile and save all of them just because I like to do that um, oh yeah I gotta just do it again. Like that. 
Okay, so let's go back to our scene, save all, and I'm gonna save this as well just in case. And I'm gonna drag the pickup box number two out here. So now I should not be able to toggle the light unless I have both of these cubes. So let's see. Play. I go to the lights. Boom. X is denied. Need key card two. So if I now pick up the key card two, picked up key card two, and go back, X is denied. Need key card. So I go to the first key card, boop, picked up key card, and behold, boom, X is granted. Yes. So that's how easy it is to, you know, make sure that the player has to pick up multiple items in order to create a change. So you could, you know, create like five or six different items that you place all around the level and make the player pick up all of them before opening the last door or something so yeah guess that's it feel free to ask me any questions and have a great day take care and bye bye